So I'm gonna show you quickly an update that I'm gonna be adding in the next firmware. Uh, basically, the actuators uh, work by fully retracting, uh, and then when they hit the hard stop, they develop some torque. Then they do a little backtrack motion to relieve that torque. Um, the default value I was using for a long time now, and it was uh, hard coded like this for 200 pulses. Um, it was because uh, the multiple heat screw types, so there's different uh, travel that may have to happen. Uh, so 200 pulses may not be enough based on the heat screw uh, or the the type of the motor or, or the stroke so i made it actually adjustable now um if i turn it on now you'll see it does a little dipter visible uh these actuators don't fall the racing lab they're um they have uh, I guess some soft material on the bottom so they don't like fall hard. So let me lift it. So it fell with all the load of skin and everything, but not really fast. Nothing to make like, like free fall. But um, let me calibrate it here. So this is for 200 pulses, right? So let me decrease that. I found the value that it's good enough for this motor. I don't know about other motors, but um, I tried all the way down until I could get the same consumption, uh, not more than that, uh, 13 watts, that's right now sitting there. Um, so I have 75 pulses, I'm gonna power cycle it, so it'll do again. So it barely moved. I'm pressing down right now. You can see it's getting almost a uh, half amp there. You can barely see it moving. Is it moving? No. So it, it it needs very little travel right now, and then back traps a, a little bit. So it sits more down, uh, uh, more down in the, in the cap. Right, let me power cycle it as you'll see. You cannot see it. So. Let me put it on 200 pulses so you can see the difference. What was before? Power it off, power on. Now you can see it. Turn off, drops it down a bit. Power on, it does a little. So you can see it drops a tiny bit. So I put it to. 75 back there Power cycle not barely moves nothing and if I press down to put cold or to the zero it doesn't go to zero power off So I'm going to be having this uh, in the next uh, firmware, uh, so one of the things I'm adding. And um, also, if you want to verify that, you can also do it by DN2, so the percent torque so if I move for example now it's all the way up 
it's holding all this load, right? And the power consumption is seven percent. You can see here power supply. It's sitting because the lead screw doesn't consume. It consumes power only when it's moving. That's why these are really efficient. So let it park. Can go park. It will be the same low. 14% when sitting down. I guess because it's pushing a little bit against the, the bottom. Anyway. I think it will be good.